Hello friends. The topic for today's class is call option. Now before understanding call option, we need to understand that what are derivatives. Derivatives are financial instruments that derive their value from an underlying asset. Now there are various kinds of derivatives like forwards, futures and options. Now options are of two kinds but before studying the two kinds of options we need to understand what is an option. So an option is a derivative that gives the holder the right to buy or sell an asset. So option gives the holder or the buyer of the option the right to purchase or sell depending on its kind. So now there are two kinds of options. The first one is call option. So call option gives the holder of the option the right to buy. So now there are two parties. One is the buyer and the other one is the seller. So buyer pays a premium to the seller and seller gives the right or a call option. So now when buyer has paid a premium that is the price of the option to the seller, the seller gives the right or the call option to the buyer of the option. Now let us take a concrete example and then try to understand what is a call option. So let us take an example of a share that is Ashok Leyland. So let the spot price of this share be equal to 70. But we have got less to do with the spot price but still. Let the price of the call option be equal to rupees 5. Right? Now let the strike price be equal to 50. Now what do you mean by strike price? The strike price is the contract price. That means that by virtue of paying a premium of rupees 5, the buyer has acquired a right to purchase the share of Ashok Leland at rupees 50. So now say for example this option is a one month option. This means if we are on 1st of January and this is a one month option then it will expire on the last Thursday of January. That means say for example the last Thursday of January falls on 25th of January. Then at that point of time if this is a European option. Now what is a European option? European option is an option which gets settled on the last Thursday of the month of expiry. So now we are talking about this call option and it will expire in one month. That means this is a January option and will be expiring on the last day of Jan uh, last Thursday of January that we are hypothetically assuming it is on 25th of January. So now say for example on 25th of January the settlement price or the current market price becomes 80. So now how the payoff would be calculated. Now what is a payoff? Payoff is profit or loss. So now let us try to understand the payoff of the buyer of a call option. So now what has happened? So now profit and loss. So on 1st of January the buyer has paid a premium of rupees 5. Since it is an outflow that means the money is going away from the buyer. So this will have to write with a sign of minus because the money is going out from buyer. So we are calculating the profit and loss of buyer and that is also known as the buyer's payoff. So 5 rupees has gone away from buyer. Now what is happening? The current market price on 25th of January, right? We are calculating this on 25th of January. So the current market price on 25th of January is 80 rupees, right? So what does this mean? This means that one share of Ashok Leland can be purchased or sold at a rupees at a at 80 rupees per share. 
So now this buyer has a right to purchase. So now what the buyer is going to do, whether he is going to exercise his right or not, that is a very important thing. So now buyer has the right that he can purchase one share of Ashok Leland at rupees 50. This is the strike price or the contract price. Right? So now what buyer is going to do? He is going to exercise his right. So he will purchase one share at rupees 50. That means 50 rupees will go out of his pocket because when we purchase something then money goes out so it is a, an outflow so we'll have to put a negative sign before this rupees 50 now after purchasing this share of Ashok Leland what he'll have to do he will have to sell this now for selling this he will have to go to the market and at market we know that the current market price on that particular day that is 25th of January is rupees 80 so now when we sell something then money comes to us so that is an inflow so now what is going to happen this 80 rupees will flow to the buyer so it is an inflow so we'll have to write a plus sign so now what has happened in short buyer has paid rupees 5 then he has purchased that is exercise his right to buy that is he has exercised the right which is derived from call option and then finally he has sold this option by going into the market at rupees 80. So in totality he has got a profit of plus 25. Right? Why? Because of purchasing this call option. Had he not purchased this option he would not have been able to exercise his right and he would not have been able to generate a profit of plus 25.